Next up is Ron Schott. Santa Monica. Improv. Glad to be here. Been in some terrible places. Played in Mississippi. For those of you who've never been to Mississippi, don't go. <laughs> Mississippi, there's a town called West Mississippi. It's in the north central part of the state. <laughs> Exceptionally stupid people. <laughs> Get a lot of my stuff out of newspapers. Last year, true story, Rockingham, North Carolina, nine people are hospitalized. Three of these people die. And the reason these nine folk are hospitalized, they got together and drank a whole bottle of red liquid lye by accident. <laughs> they accidentally drank a bottle of lye. You know, I've been really drunk. <laughs> I prayed to the God that lives inside of my commode, and I've heard some answers down there, all right? I've known some hardcore partiers, but it would seem to me that out of nine people drinking a bottle of lye, that somebody before number nine would have gone, whoa! some bitter stuff right there. Oh, that's eating a big hole here in my lip. My, my teeth are full. Oh. Here, try this, Myrtle. See what you think of it. That's got an aftertaste to it, don't Three of those people took a lethal dose and pass the bottle. <laughs> or as they went, oh, and fell down, somebody said, here, give me that. <laughs> One more for you. Bryan, Texas. Body of a man is found in Bryan, Texas. He's been shot five times in the chest with a bolt action 22 caliber rifle. They find the weapon lying next to the body. The district attorney, the coroner, and the sheriff of Bryan, Texas determined this was an obvious open and shut case of suicide. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hit the key points for you again. <laughs> he was shot five times in the chest with a bolt action 22 caliber rifle. Now, for those of you who have never fired a bolt action rifle, I gotta give you a little quick demonstration. It's a rather unique sort of weapon and not the one that I personally would have chosen for suicide. <laughs> but what do I know? Okay, now. It's a rifle. Picture me holding a rifle in the normal position. You're going to notice a little lever right here. This lever is attached to a bolt up on top of the rifle, hence the name bolt action rifle. Now, <laughs> to operate this weapon, you hold the entire 8.7 pounds of the weapon in your left hand. You take your right hand, grab the lever, pull it up, pull the bolt back towards you, and this ejects or throws out one used shell casing. Beep, 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 beep. You take one new 22 caliber shell, little bitty teeny tiny shell, and you slot. Now, you realize this does get progressively harder <laughs> with three or four bullets already smack dab in the middle of your chest, all right? Get a little harder to do this sequence of events. Slide it in the little bitty teeny tiny chamber, take the lever, close the bolt, pull the lever down. Rifle is now loaded, but it's facing in the wrong damn direction, all right? Now, you gotta turn that sucker around by grabbing the barrel and stretching all the way out. Hook your thumb backwards in the trigger. You are now ready to shoot yourself. <laughs> Boom. One. <laughs> more time. After which, you're going to have to pick your butt from up off of the ground. 
you're going to have to relocate the rifle, all right? Assuming you would have dropped it when the bullet went into your chest, <laughs> causing massive hemorrhaging in your lungs. You would have gone, oh, and fallen down. And uh, then you'd have to repeat the procedure, all right? Now, to shoot yourself five times in the chest with a bolt-action 22 caliber rifle requires a degree of determination <laughs> that I do not possess, all right? I think if I shot myself, say, three <laughs> times in the chest with a bolt action 22, and found to my chagrin and surprise that I was still alive, <laughs> I'm afraid I'd just say, screw it, okay? <laughs> screw it, I can live with this, okay? <laughs> And I can live with this set. I'm Ron Schott. Thank you all very much.